Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am W2Best and I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials. Today's video is an unboxing and first look of the 27-inch monitor Dell P2720DC. I have been using a version of this Dell monitor for many years, but now it's been a few years back. The version I was using was the non-USB-C version. And when this was released as a USB-C version with both power and monitor signal, I think this is a very viable competitor for the best Quad HD 27-inch monitor on the market. So now when I have the opportunity to get another monitor for my office, I feel like it's the perfect opportunity to check out some of Dell's 27-inch offerings and not only stick with 25-inch as I've been doing for the past two years. If you have any questions, I am available down in the comment section below and I'm usually very quick to reply. And if you want to buy the product, you can find links in the description below. And I'm sorry for being very slow in producing videos right now. I have simply had so much other things to work on, so many practical things to work through, as well as having a pretty emotionally taxing time in the beginning of 2022, that YouTube hasn't been the biggest priority for me during this year. Let's dive into the unboxing and see what is in this guy. All right, let's get right into unboxing this thing and setting it up here on one of the desks in my office. Setting up a Dell screen is usually a very straightforward process. When you get into the package here, you get presented with the cables, first of all. Here we have a DisplayPort to DisplayPort cable, something that I won't be using for this monitor. Next up we have the Magic cable, the USB-C to USB-C cable. We have a little installation guide wrapped up in a bag. The power cable for the monitor. Something quite important, which is the stand for the monitor. So this is the part that we are going to put on the desk. And then we have the arm that holds the monitor in place. Lifting up this protective material here, that's where we have the actual monitor. Which is nicely wrapped up with this uh, protective layer. And I'm going to have to get this out and get rid of the box so that we can continue the setup process. The first thing to assemble here is the foot and the stand that will hold the monitor in place. And this is very straightforward, but I want to show you the process regardless. This one just locks into place like that. But when you put it in place, it's going to feel very, very unstable. And this is because you have one mounting screw in the bottom that you need to screw all the way in and then fold it in so that it can lay flat against the desk. Once we have this locked in place, the monitor arm is fully assembled and we're ready to slot the actual monitor on. The way we click the monitor in place is also quite straightforward. You just fit that square in place and then you let go of it and you click it into place like that. It snaps with a lock there and now it is all safe and ready to use on the desk. The monitor is adjustable in height to very low and a relatively high state. It is also possible to turn the monitor around if you want to use it in a vertical state. I have now plugged in the power cable and then we just have the USB-C cable left to plug in. And it goes into the only USB-C cable that is available in the bottom there. Bringing out my MacBook Pro and uh, connecting the USB-C cable, we are going to see how the one cable connection works here. The laptop is taking charge. We get asked what language we want to use the monitor in. We get asked if we want to enable always on USB-C charging and USB-A charging. I want USB-C charging to be always on. It's very much a handy feature when plugging in the phone, for example, to charge it through the screen, even when not using the actual screen features. Then we get right into the monitor being used as our secondary monitor here. This is looking really good. The resolution is very crisp and I really like the star setting both with the colors of this monitor, the resolution of it and the brightness of it. It is just the kind of level that I want with my monitors. The only thing I really need to adjust at this point is the position of the screen. 
since I'm right now using the laptop below the screen. And this is not my most common use case, but when I'm with one of these other desks, I feel like it's nice to be able to use my laptop keyboard, my laptop trackpad, and not have to have the external stuff like I do when I had uh, the laptop placed on the left side like I do on my main desk. And then we have the monitor working as you can see there. I'm gonna have a quick look at the settings here just to see if we can have even more brightness from this. And we can for sure. There is now a 75% brightness setting. Um, let's see how it is when we crank it up a little bit. All right, that's pretty fair brightness level. It's not too much. I'm gonna set it back down to around 70%, I think, which feels like the right thing. The contrast is also set to 75% from the start, and I'm gonna keep it there for the time being. On top of that, we have the opportunity to do some color changes. We have different preset modes. We have some display changes, which is sharpness, aspect ratio, response time, MST, which is very important if you want to use a second monitor and daisy chain. The setting is here. It needs to be switched on for daisy chaining to actually work. Then we have USB-C prioritization, which is set to high speed data. We have uh, language settings, transparency, timer, lock. We have some personalized settings and some other settings, which is not something very important for me at this point, at least. I'm gonna have to say that the size difference is significant with this compared to my 25 inches that I've been using for most of the past two years. Uh, but I think I could get used to this. And uh, I really see the potential to run two separate documents or separate websites at the same time with this kind of monitor size. It works, of course, with the 25 inch as well, but we just get a little bit more screen real estate with this setup. I will, of course, make a very in-depth review of this product when I have spent a few weeks time using it as one of my main monitors in the office. That is it for my unboxing and first look of the Dell P2720DC. The first 27 inch monitor that I will be using for my desk setups in a long time. So I'm super excited to get some more use time out of this product to see how it compares to my 25 inch equivalents also from Dell, also Quad HD. And just to see how I feel with a 27 inch monitor on my desk setups in general. This will be an interesting time moving forward. I have another 27 inch monitor, a 4K option coming in. So I will be comparing Quad HD to 4K as well and see how that differs. If you want to stay tuned for all that content, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.